Alright, let's talk about measuring lake stratification using a fish hawk. We use this to measure the temperature at various depths in the lake. It's the fish hawk. Here's our fishing reel. We use that to lower the thing down in the water. Uh, you'll have to provide your own. You need a pencil and a log sheet to write the numbers down. You turn it on by pressing the start button. And it pops up like this. And you're going to want to make sure that it's set for uh, Celsius and meters. And it says by temp at the lower left corner and fresh at the top right corner. I'll try to send it to you set up correctly, but sometimes things happen. And so we'll talk about how to change the settings to make it read the way we want it to read. I first turn it on. While it's still blinking set at the bottom, hit the view button. And you'll be able to enter the settings mode. Uh, hit the view to cycle through the various modes. We want Celsius press start, just lock it in, then it goes to the next setting, fresh, hit view and it'll switch to salt, we want fresh, hit view again, lock it in with start button, by temp is what we want, by depth is not what we want, hit view to cycle back and forth, hit start to lock it in place, and you're good to go. You see blinking ready at the top. So out on the lake, you're going to take this thing, and you're going to just lower it in the water. Uh, turn it on first, of course. And wait till it says ready. Blink. There it says ready at the top left corner. And then just start lowering it into the lake. There's no lake in my living room, but you get the idea. You just keep lowering your feet out the line. You can let it drop in the water. Um, it reads temperature pretty quickly. And when it hits the bottom, you reel it back in. It measures temperature on the way down, so you can reel it back up as fast as you like. And then bring it back up. And you're good to go. And when you're done, make sure you've got your log book and get ready to start recording the data. If it turned itself off, uh, you can just turn it back on again. It will have saved all your readings. Just make sure it says ready at the top left corner before you proceed. You can hit the view button right there. View, and it's 29.9 at the surface. Zero, that was my reading. I'll write that down. Hit view again. 29.6 degrees Celsius at 1 meter. Right on 1 meter and 29.6. Hit view again. See it switched to 2 meters. Write down that set of numbers. And keep going until you, you get to the end of the line there. There's 3 meters, 4 meters, 13.6. Got a little colder. 5 meters, 10.6 degrees Celsius. And here, I know I'm at the bottom because it says max. That's my last reading. I'll hit view again, and you can see it'll go back to zero. And be sure to fill in the lake name and your site number and the date. And that's how you use the fish hawk. To turn it off, just press and hold the start button. It'll save that last reading until you deploy it again. This is the kind of graph we can get with this data. Uh, this is the depth and the temperature shown. Temperature's at the top, and the depth is shown on the left-hand axis there with zero starting at the top, like the surface of the lake. You can see the temperature as you go down in the lake drops in Celsius, degrees Celsius. Here's the same graph after I converted it to Celsius and feet. Uh, you can see about 82 degrees at the surface, all the way down to about uh, 62 or so degrees at the bottom at 45 feet. We actually get more readings if we use the metric settings versus the feet and, and Fahrenheit settings. So please use the metric settings on the fish hawk. This next graph is where things start to get really interesting. This is an entire season of the data shown. So at the bottom axis is time. This is 2019, we've got May through uh, September. Uh, the depth is shown on the left axis in feet uh, with zero at the top, and color indicates temperature. And you can see how the lake stratified during the year. It started out nice and cold, 50, 60 degrees in May. Then around uh, mid-May, it started warming up. And by June, that warm water had reached down to about 30 feet and it started really heating up at the surface. And you can see that uh, by the time you get to July, it got up to about 80 degrees at the surface. If you want to, you can pause the video and take a closer look at the graph. 
If you're a volunteer and you're interested in collecting these data, let me know and I'll send you one of these doodads. A big thanks to all our citizen scientists for their great work.